Fate Grand Order is one of the biggest gacha games to ever exist. It's really big because you no showering for 7 days and no bitches having people spend way too much for a JPEG that occasionally does something. Me sitting on top of my F2P throne, I do sometimes wonder, is it better if I spend lots of money on this? Looking at all these people just buying seed quartz over and over, sometimes I do get jealous because I can't get to spend that kind of money. I don't work because I'm still in college, my YouTube channel is never getting monetization approval for some bullshit reason and my monthly allowance is only around 1.5 million rupiah or 95 dollars which is the equivalent of four days worth of mcdonald's big mac meal and nine piece mcnuggets with no drinks if i were to buy the 42 saint quartz without the bonus it will cost me 39 dollars and 99 cents which is already 45 percent of my monthly allowance just for one 10 roll and it'll end with me getting sick freed and mapo tofu the struggle of a broke college student with no dreams and bitches is real so i had to improvise modern problems require modern solutions and modern problems require modern solutions I mostly go free to play in most games that I play, so being a free to play in FGO is no stranger to me. I guess I started playing FGO around one and a half years ago now because I love Fate a lot. I actually watched the Babylonia anime before getting to FGO and that became like the push that made me download the game. So after I downloaded the game, I didn't start to actually play the game after maybe one or two months. This is a weird habit of mine where I download the game that I wanted to play, then I open the app for like 10 minutes and never touch it again. Does anyone else do do that when i really got into the game after actually starting to play it i realized that the gacha system is one of the systems that i dislike very much the whole aspect of pay to win is for me just destroys the whole point of what makes gaming loved by everyone so not wanting to succumb to the temptations of paying for saint quartz i kept watching guides on how to essentially be better at fgo i did tons of research i used guides i also used many tricks that i found along the way as i played the game creating strategies and eventually here i am happy being a free-to-play user of course i broke the free-to-play status because i bought saint quartz but i only bought it once and hopefully not another time. Now let me show you my servants that I have, just to flex on you. Now you're probably thinking, how did you get all of these servants when you only bought Saint Quartz once? Well, the answer is that I have X rank luck. Like, I'm not even joking. I don't know why I'm extremely lucky in many circumstances, not just pulling the best SSRs in the game has to offer. For example, back then I played FIFA 15 Mobile. When the 100k packs came out, I decided to spend my FIFA coins and hope that I get Messi or Ronaldo. Funnily enough, the first 100k pack I opened, Messi was in there. I opened a few more, but my luck just ran out and I stopped after I opened like 5 more. The next day, I woke up in the morning and decided to open the 100k pack again. The first pack again, Cristiano Ronaldo. Not only in FIFA 15 mobile, but in real life as well. I had an entrance exam to enter the number one university in Indonesia. It was online and my friend did the same exam as I did and I think we had the same answers for 85% of them. For the math section, I only answered five questions out of 20. And guess what? I got in while my friend didn't get in. Although he did get in this year, but my point still stands. I'm very much blessed with an insane amount of luck sometimes. I got waiver on a single roll and I only had three Saint Quartz at that time. Most of these servants I got it with just a single 10 roll and usually the first 10 roll that I do. Castoria, Skadi, Musashi, Waver, Tamamo, John Archer, Kiara Summer, all in the first 10 roll that I do or a single 10 roll. So if you guys feel that you are very lucky in many circumstances in life, Believe me, your FGO rolls are going to be lucky as well. Free to play players, don't be afraid to try your luck. Sometimes you just gotta fuck it. But remember as well that saving up your Saint Quartz is important. Then again, sometimes you just need to spend it so you can get the SSRs and SRs. Anyways, believe me, just try your luck as a free to play player. In the end, what I'm trying to say is, should you spend money on FGO or gacha games? Not necessarily. My experience of being a free to play player has always been fun and I have the SSRs that many people have wailed with no success. As well as gameplay, FGO has so many free to play servants that can easily get the job done with any quests. You just gotta put much more time on it and I know that's what a lot of people don't have but when you do have the time, look up guides, do a little bit of research and keep playing the game. I'm not saying you can't spend money on this game, I'm saying that you can have the same experience as pay to win players without paying. 
So spend your money wisely and keep simping for Musashi. If you spent a million dollars on trying to roll for Musashi, then that's okay. In fact, I encourage you guys to do this.